So, what are the results of the socialism in Venezuela? Well, highest level of inflation and scarcity of our history. Uh, people eating garbage, schools that do not teach, hospitals that do not heal, long and humiliating lines to buy flour, bread, or basic medicines, the militarization of practically every aspect of the life, etc. In a nutshell, people living off the state and not at limited the state, living for the people and by the people. Look, this, a crowd fighting for just two chickens. And this is old days in Venezuela. But all this is made in socialism. That is the seal of the, of the government. What about the minimum wage policy? Well, since May 1999, Hugo Chavez, to July 2017, Hugo Chavez's son, Maduro, the minimum wage was increased 38 times. That represents more than 108,000%. But what happened? In May 1999, the basic basket represented two the 27 minimum wage. And today, you have to pay 5.70 minimum wage to obtain the basic basket. And the high skilled professional wage, take for example, uh, full professor. In the 1980s, the full professor needs to pay almost 15 minutes of his salary to buy one kilogram of beef. Now, today, in July 2017, a full professor needs to pay the equivalent of more or less 18 hours for buy one kilogram of beef. The socialism. <laughs> Other example. 1980s, full professor need to pay almost one year for a new sedan. Today, more or less 25 years of his salary. Okay? Other example. In the 1980s, a full professor with his monthly salary can buy, could buy um, 17 basic uh, baskets. Okay? Today, he can buy just uh, one quarter of a basic basket. <clears throat> and what about my, our money? Well, in March 2007, this was the highest uh, bill in our economy, 100 bolivares. And you could buy $28, 288 eggs, or 56 kilograms of rice. Mm, today, you can buy this. One of these. So, from March 2007 to July 2017, you need five of these bills to buy just one egg. Okay? So, socialism is the cause of the Venezuelan misery. Venezuelans are starving, eating garbage, losing weight. Children are undernourished. But freely minded of socialism, like Stiglitz, Bernie Sanders, Pablo Iglesias, and other people think that Venezuelan socialism is the best. Anyone in Venezuela would be happy to eat out of America's trash cans. It would be considered gourmet when you have nothing. It's really, you have nothing. A lot of Venezuelans have nothing. Socialism sucks. Bernie Sanders, no matter what you say. <laughs> So Venezuela has a shortage of food, medicines, etc. Uh, on July 2017, more than the 16% of the products of the basic basket are really scarce. But this is socialism at its finest. This is the saddest reality of our health system. Free health for all Venezuelans, said the government. People dying because they do not find an antibiotic. 
or newborns placed in boxes because hospitals lacked cradles or incubators. See this picture? Newborns in a hospital in Venezuela. I guess uh, uh, any puppy in, in the United States or in any other country has a better bed than these children. Our children do not deserve this misery. <clears throat> Look at this picture. Um, an illegal worker. Sorry for take that example. An illegal worker uh, needs less than an hour for by this bottle of acetaminophen. Okay, but a full professor in Venezuela needs more than forty hours to buy that bottle. And if he, if he, if he finds it, okay? Because it's very, very difficult to find a set of men of men in Venezuela. Socialism at its finest. And meanwhile, our opposition, opposition leaders, keep negotiating freedom with a tyrannical regime at the expense of the suffering of millions. Citizens are urged to regain hope, but in our view, these politicians have defrauded people. By the way, all of them are socialists, all of them, in different levels of socialism, but it, uh, they are socialists. Well, he is Chavista. He's the governor of, of my state, but he's Chavista. He is Leopoldo. He's the most uh, media coverage, but he's an utopian social democrat, okay? And he, I think he, 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 he is in the Congress from Perez Jimenez. He's the oldest, the oldest of the opposition, but he's a dealer. He's, he has very business, very much business. Uh, Capriles loves Lula's socialism. He say that. Okay. So what's the response of our society? Well, the young people are leading the fight for freedom in Venezuela in spite of, the, of what the current political leaders instruct. They adhere to be called the opposition. They are the resistance. In Spanish, la resistencia. Actually, they are the real heroes of freedom in our country. But the world needs to know that they have been killed by a tyrannical government. We say that a new leadership must emerge since our current opposition also hates free markets. A, a new historical breaking point is urgently needed. 2000 when? We don't know. We hope today. We hope this night, tomorrow, this week. Perhaps 2018 will be very, very late for Venezuelans. Well, to conclude, I want to remark that we strongly believe that our mis misunderstanding caused the disaster. We, Venezuelans, never understood freedom in its proper dimension because when we enjoyed high levels of economic freedom, we allowed the destruction of political and civil rights. And when we finally established democracy, we allowed the destruction of economic freedom. As Hayek said once, freedom is just one thing, and our new leaders need to know that. In the name of Econitec, Movimiento Libertad Venezuela, the resistance, and millions of people in our country, we thank the Mises Institute for this opportunity to briefly tell the untold history of Venezuela. Thank you very much.